Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I am your host today, Cornish Games Knights. Uh, you can call me Corn. Uh, a lot of people call me that in my streams. But before we get into the video, I must say, I am a connoisseur in these horror games. So in this video, we're going to do a top five of the scariest games for Halloween. Now, this is what I've experienced because I've played a lot, as I've said, a lot of horror games. So yeah, let's get into this video. White Day Labyrinth Named School, or as it was called White Day the School, was made in Korea. It was a survival horror game developed and published by a Korean game development studio, Sunri, in 2001. Now, I will say there was a lot of speculations of why the original one never got finished. Um, there was rumors that it made people schizophrenia, uh, it made people depressed, it made people so scared they had heart problems. Um, this was 2001, before Amnesia, right? Before any first-person horror game that is now out today. So the small story goes, you're basically a Korean kid, name whatever you want to be, and you go into the school to give White Day chocolates, which is like, I think it's like a Valentine thing, and you end up getting locked in school with a few other people, including the person who your character admires. And it just gets from hell from there. It really does. I, I, I really can't say much of how scary it was. It was terrifying back in 2001. So back in 2001, it never got made. But uh, a guy called Nameless, if I remember, uh, finished the game off. So that, that was really cool. Now, what makes this game scary is it's not the fact that you're running around and a janitor is chasing you. The janitor is possessed by a little girl or something like that. I think in one of the ghost stories. And I know the school is riddled with ghosts. And when you find a ghost story, you can go to that area and there could possibly potentially be a ghost. Um, so that was the old one. Now, let's move our way up to 2015 of the remake now it first came out on mobile but it actually the proper proper remake came out on playstation 4 steam and i think xbox i'm not sure don't quote me on that i know i played it on steam and i tell you what that was that just that was blew my mind with scares non-stop whatsoever i was traumatized by the end of uh that game and what i love about the game is when you explore you can either like take on side quests to do ghost hunting i guess and that's pretty cool. Sometimes you accidentally see some of the ghosts, but that's that's the best thing about it. Very scary, and I would definitely recommend this scariness of a game to anyone. Now, coming up on number four is called Visage. Now, I would have put this a lot higher. However, the game is not finished. Two years, guys. Two years. So, Visage is a psychological horror. So, you basically are in a house that is stained with a terrible past of murders, committing suicide, and other crazy events that happened, whoever moved in there. You, as the person, will have to solve each and every chapter of what happened in that room and what happened to the family. So far, that's all I know, but I tell you what, the, 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 yeah, the, um, the, the intro was, uh, yeah, the intro was interesting. tell you about the gameplay of my experience jeez oh man you know what right since pt came out and that horror game silent hills revolutionized this whole genre stuff this here has the photorealistic gameplay mechanics and having to 
fear for your life because you're just you by yourself and nothing, no music, no sounds. You would hear weird stuff and then right in the front of my face. I get jump scared like a mofo. No joke whatsoever. This game is pretty scary. Um, for Even for early access, it is really, 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 really damn good. But uh, the developers have kept saying they're finishing it. They're on their last chapter or something. But uh, there's quite a few chapters already to do. So check that out. Also, the Easter eggs are quite funny. <laughs> if you're a fan of Silent Hill, you'd, you'd know about it. But yeah, the only reason why I haven't put it on a higher list is because it's in early access. That's about it. Everything else, it's a fantastic game, I think. kidding me <sighs> hey, you didn't. now we're going down to number three dungeon nightmares 2 this game's a huge panic montage of scares I'm not <laughs> oh this game is a mountain of scares and every corner you take in the game is just damn scary dude like you you do not know what's gonna happen around the corner and if you lack a lot too much in the game they will bite you in the backside. I'm not even kidding. This game has such an intense scary atmosphere. There's not combat, but there is running around. You'll have a map and it's randomly procedure. So you need to have a look around this map and you will have to grab either a key or other notes and a, a switch, I believe on the second one, because they did bring out the first one and that was just grab the keys and get out of there. Hell, if you do grab a key when you wake up in your bed in the Dungeon Nightmares 2, you can go into other rooms of the hotel to explore and see other creepy stuff. There are two possible endings, I believe, and uh, if you don't get all the keys, then you might even get the bad ending. What I can say is, from my experience, when walking around in that maze, uh, there's, there's no music at all. It's just weird noises and things will scare you half the time. I think I got hit three times when getting jump scared. <laughs> I got jump scared three times, man. It wasn't fun. But yeah, there was only so much I could take uh, of the scares. I ended up uh, stopping playing that game because it was too damn scary. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Oh my god! Ah! Fuck you! Told you! Number two, Paranormal Activity: The Lost Soul VR. I believe they've made it non-VR now, but uh, yeah, this game is very, very, very good. Now, back in the days of VR, there wasn't really much locomotion-type games. Now, Paranormal Activity VR did bring that in. And you know what? The whole walk around and interacting with everything was absolutely wonderful. So paranormal activity, you go into a house. I guess you're a pizza guy because that's what, how it all starts with horror games sometimes. Um, yeah, you go into this house and you find out there's nothing but bad stuff inside. And as you progress through the game, you get, uh, you get chased by a lady with a hammer of the house. And you need to figure out what actually happened in there as well as trying to survive. You can hide from your enemies and even outsmart them. I wasn't expecting someone to walk around the mansion with a hammer, especially that woman. And yeah, <laughs> that was creepy enough. Not, it gets kind of worse as well when you're in the game. So this was like one of my first horror game VR games. And I, when playing it, I was half an hour into the game and I completely forgot I was in VR and the immersive stuff on that is absolutely crazy. Uh, you do have a lot of 
ghostly spirits come at you as well as the crazy possessed woman with the hammer. Um, there was one moment I got told to hide in a dark corner and the woman come walking right up to my face and was... I, I think if I walked any bit closer, she would have grabbed me and just hammered my face in. But I was glad I stayed in there. I had a lot of scares on that one. So good, good game to recommend. Absolutely phenomenal. Hey, over here. You gotta hide. She's coming. Embrace the darkness! And we're coming down at one, and if you don't know this one, it's close to everyone's heart. It's up there with all the horror genres, and that is Fatal Frame and Project Zero. So the reason why I said Fatal Frame and Project Zero is because in my country, we call it Project Zero, and in the US or anywhere else, they call it Fatal Frame. I don't know why. I just don't know why. So for each information about Fatal Frame, there are about currently five, including one on the DS. Basically, you're Japanese horror, but this time you'll have a camera, and every time you go into the camera, you go into a first person, and when you go out, you're in the third person, just like the old Resident Evil camera angle things. And, uh, wow. <laughs> this, if you haven't heard of this game, you've lot have been sleeping under a rock. This was also in the Guinness World Records, I remember reading back in 2008, of the most frightening game of all time, and still is to date when the PS3 came out. Now, with the camera, you do take photos of ghosts, and each ghost gets caught in this camera called the Camera of Obscure, which has a spirit stone inside. Certain cameras in the series have it differently. Uh, you'll have to go through the game yourself. But, when I say you have to go through the game, you're going to have to try and find the copies, because they are actually quite expensive because of how good it is. And it still is today. I recently did a live stream, just to go back on it, after many, many years. I'm talking 10 years. I haven't played it and I went back on it and I tell you what, I'm still scared of the game. I've still got many jump scares and there's still loads of things I've yet not seen in the game when I've play replayed it. Have you dared to question there are feet in the Tusty wardrobe? There are Tusty feet in the wardrobe. <laughs> Yeah, when was this? Ah! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. I'm done. I'm tough. Done. I'm toasty. Done with this toasty game. You toasty. Off, mate. I'm fucked. No, no, no. Lucky for me, I had my collections when I was a kid, so I've still got the copies. If you do get a hold of a copy, and you may have one, go and play it again. It is worth the play with a friend. Um, the storylines are very good. The gameplay is good. The, the scare factor is just insane. And it just... Oh, oh so good. Um, the latest one they brought out was on the Nintendo Wii U. You could probably pick that up easily enough. And the one on DS. Um, with the DS, you it's an augmented reality version, which I still haven't played yet and I want to play. So I will be doing very soon. I also want to make a note about the storyline. Each character is always different, so it's a different story. But the third one, they bought them all together. And I believe they did the same on the fifth one. Uh, yeah, just... I, really yeah. I don't like... Oh, shit! <laughs> Shit. Right. Oh, oh shit. What? It's gone. Oh, yeah. What is that? She's 
So that was the top five horror games. If you did enjoy it, please hit a like. There are many other horror games out there that are scary and good, but these were the ones that my experience made me quit and get extremely scared. I know there was tons of other games, but I can only do top five. Guys, if you've got a horror game or you're playing a horror game or you have a horror game that scared you the most, please put it down in the comments so we can hear. I'd love to hear what you've lot been playing or what is scary for you. Now remember, I'm Cornish Games Nights. I stream on twitch.tv forward slash Cornish Games Nights. I would also upload on the YouTube channel Cornish Games Nights quite uh, weekly now. I also did a video of the top 13 horror games you should play this Halloween. Uh, that will probably be down below as well. And remember, if you do enjoy this content and want more, hit that subscribe button there. And that's me signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. You take care and have a great day.